An East Texas nonprofit is having to overcome several obstacles after building materials were stolen from one of their construction sites. And then you got the whole high price of lumber and materials that are going up when building a home. Habitat for Humanity says they need some help. Here's Fox 51's James Bowen leading us off. It's just unbelievable. In the past year, thieves have stolen hundreds of dollars of material from Habitat for Humanity construction sites like this one, and builders aren't happy. That was $60 a sheet for a 4x8 sheet. I mean, that is just uh, unbelievable. Organization helps build homes across Smith County for families in need, but when thieves broke into homes to steal pricey construction materials, the nonprofit suffered a setback. We have had problems with people breaking into our homes during construction, and, and any material that we had in there uh, has been stolen. We've had five gallon paint stolen. We've had uh, paint sprayer stolen and some other things. So we, we try to keep materials and equipment minimal here on the job sites. Through security cameras, Habitat for Humanity is trying to find the thieves and prevent it from happening again, especially with how valuable the stolen goods are amid a pandemic shortage. We did an analysis of the actual material costs and quantities. And that over there cost us about $18,000 for the material from the slab up to make it weather tight. This one is 30,000. With the price of construction material skyrocketing and the constant theft of construction sites, Habitat for Humanity here in Smith County is wondering whether or not they'll continue to be able to provide affordable housing for the community. We have ordered material for this particular site. We don't know what it's going to cost yet, but we can't stop. We're trying to build uh, seven new homes in our fiscal year, which starts July 1st. And it's a problem across the country. For us, that's about $24,000 per home that the cost is going up, which is putting us really teetering on the line of whether or not these houses will be affordable for these families. For now, families chasing the American dream can still rely on Habitat for Humanity working to keep their hopes alive. James Bowen, Fox 51 News. Well, Habitat for Humanity of Smith County welcomes any donations and new volunteers are also looking for the people who may have stolen from them. If you know anything about that, call police.